What's going on everybody, Dylan here with Espresso Outlet. And today I'm gonna show you how you can use this blind shaker two different ways. So uh, one way you can use this blind shaker is um, number one, you wanna keep this cap on while you're grinding um, just so everything stays nice and neat. Um, and once you finish grinding, then you would just unspin this, unthread it, and then you can put that down. Then you can set this on top of the port filter. This is a 58 millimeter. And then you can just teeter totter it back and forth until it comes up and then lift up and it funnels into your porta filter. Another way that you can actually use this is let's say that this is threaded back on, magnetic, pull it back out. Then you can actually unscrew this like we did before, but instead, on the back side, it's got this extra ring over here that can actually go on top like this. You wanna keep your finger right here. You don't wanna let it go, but then you can actually shake it like a blind shaker, kind of declump more, then pull this off, put this in, teeter-totter back way like we did before. You can actually just set this on top just to prevent any kind of mess and then good to go puck prep and lock it in. So I will show you that with coffee here in a second. I went ahead and fast forward and I just went ahead and grinded the coffee. Um, so like we said before, you can unscrew this, which would give you your base and then you can direct dough straight into your porta filter or you can actually turn this base over from the threaded part to this part. Um, and it actually sits pretty nice and easy over the top part of here. Um, and then what you can do is you can shake it like this to prevent anything from coming out. Um, I don't like, I don't recommend going up and down because it could jar the um, piece in the inside, the actual shaker, but you can do this and you can use it that way to where it kind of just declumps a little bit more. And then now all that's left to do is Go ahead and put it in your porter filter. Teeter it back and forth, just nice and slow as it funnels into your porter filter, like that. So once you have it in your porter filter, you can give it a nice couple shakes and then make sure to tap it on the counter, lift up, and now it is in your porter filter. So that's just how the blind shaker can be used in two different ways. And this is the all new Turin H40 hand grinder version two. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.